A uh, while ago I thought I might have a go at uh, doing a Lister D section the cutaway engine. Um, this one came along. Fortunately it was uh, mainly in bits. The only thing it was on the other block was the uh, crank main bearing housing. So it was quite easy to get in the car in sections. Otherwise I wouldn't have done it. Um, there's no flywheel. Um, I did this Jappe a few months back. I'm quite pleased that's come out. So, uh, it was in quite a state, it was all covered in mud and full of sludgy oil inside. So I've given it a really good clean, and this coated it with WD-40. That's the uh, cast in there for the timing gear and the governor control. I've yet to clean up the uh, crank main bearing housing. Uh, I think I will strip that, because what I did on the uh, Jap or the bearing surfaces or the areas where there would normally be oil like in the uh, main bearings and that I've actually greased so it keeps it cleaner inside I want to paint this one inside probably like a light yellow or something like that these are all the other bits most of them have been cleaned up and oiled I had to buy some more studs because it only came with three and the five came up uh, for those still underhead, and these had to be bought separately because it didn't come with any valves or springs or push rods in from that. So I got a complete set there, even valve guides. So yeah, that's that. Right, just starting to mark out lines, scribing them in where I need to cut. Just done one there and one there. Give this a lot of thought, check and double check. I don't want to do this wrong. <laughs> right, I started to cut away part of the uh, cylinder head water hopper. Just doing it in sections. Use a hacksaw. And the Dremel. Yeah, it's coming on. We'll yeah, make sure all the uh, valve gears are on show. Right, some more's been done. Just taking the metal out in sections because I'm limited with the Dremel. We also cut out a section there for the combustion chamber because I want the head of the valve to be seen moving in the chamber when the engine's turning. Yeah, you know, quite pleased. Well, I think this is more or less done. It's just tidying it all up now, making sure the edges are straight. And that can go on top of the main block. And I'll start uh, working on the main block. It's quite a bit of uh, filing to do to make sure everything's straight. Need to blend this area in to an angle there. Yeah, I'm quite pleased that's come out. Right, well, as you can see, I've done some more. Cut out the casting that holds the uh, governor weights, and also the casting that has the gear that drives the governor weights from the crank and just done a angular slice through there as well to expose more of the crank shaft quite these two bits we've got an oil filler and a mag bracket magneto bracket uh, if I can get hold of a mag cheap maybe one with a duff coil I think I might use that cut that open as well so the internals can be seen and the oil filler oh, just uh, sliced through that leave the oil here piece on the casting but the actual K I will move that and go all the way through so yeah uh, 
think we're at a stage now where it's just a question of filing, making sure everything's straight, and then uh, clean up and ready for painting.